We've been talking a lot about Roundup-resistant weeds over the last couple of years, and if you're raising Roundup Ready corn and Roundup Ready soybeans, there's a big difference there. And let me just first start by saying we are not concerned about Roundup-resistant weeds really at all. It just takes a little higher degree of management on your farm if you've got Roundup resistant weeds. Well, when you say we're not, not concerned about it, we are definitely concerned about it, but we know we can kill each one of those weeds yeah, just with I mean. other herbicides. Mm -hmm. So when you think about corn, look at all the different choices you've got, but really some of them will control every one of these broadleaf Roundup resistant weeds out there, like status, for example. You think of all the Roundup resistant weeds we've got, weeds like mare's tail, pigweed species, common and giant ragweed, lamb's quarters, wild buckwheat, morning glory, velvet leaf, kochia. I mean, all those broadleaf weeds that we're having trouble with Roundup controlling, status gets all of them, Brian. So, you know what, Laudus, Callisto, Impact, they're not too bad on most of those weeds either. The point is, it's pretty easy to kill broadleaf weeds in a grass crop like corn. Now, killing broadleaf weeds in a broadleaf crop like soybeans, that's a lot more difficult to do. So we can take that same list that you just had there, Darren, in corn, and you can see how one or two products, you know, it's going to wipe everything out. When you get to soybeans, you look over that same list, I might need six or seven different herbicides, that gets to be a real issue. Because for you as a farmer, if you remember back to why you switched to Roundup, well, one of the reasons why you probably switched was because you didn't have to mix four or five things together in the tank just to kill all your weeds. And you were going to have a lot less leaf burn if you sprayed Roundup, as opposed to mixing these four or five different herbicides all together. Ah, the other thing though, Brian, that you didn't mention is scouting. Here's where it really comes into play. If you've got some Roundup resistant weeds on your farm and Roundup isn't killing everything, we're right back to scouting before we spray anything, watching that weed size, you know, with all of these weeds. You know, if you get them in there small and you can identify those weeds, you can go into your dealer and say, look, I have this weed, this weed, and this weed. Now, what's my best option? And in most cases, your dealer's going to say, well, you're going to need some of this and some of this. And you're going to do a two-way mix and you can control most of those broadleaf weeds. But here's where this all starts. In soybeans, you have to, in our opinion, put a pre-emerge herbicide down. If you don't, now you're going to have to go spray your post-emerge product very early because you can only kill a weed two to four inches tall. Well, what do you do after that? Because chances are there's going to be another flush that comes, and with some of these products, you can't spray it twice. You shouldn't go out and spray first rate twice in a year ever. You shouldn't go out and spray Flexstar twice in a year ever. You shouldn't go out and spray Pursuit twice in a year ever. You see where I'm going with this whole thing. You've got to have a good pre-emerge herbicide out so you can delay your post-emerge application now you can use the post product you want, hopefully you only have to spray one time post, and you should be in a lot better shape. Well, it comes down to knowing the weeds that you're dealing with. If you have something like a palmer pigweed or a tall water hemp, for example, you know those weeds are going to germinate later on in the season. So maybe you say, you know what, I've also got some ragweed, I'm going to address the ragweed with my pre-emerge herbicide, then with my post-emerge herbicide, I'm going to save that flex star up, and I'm going to use that in with my post-emerge, tank mix it in, kill those pigweed species plants later on. So you could focus on one particular species early with your pre and use the very best thing for that, then use something completely different for your post-emerge that's going to be the very best thing for two or three other Now, weeds. this is where I would completely disagree with Darren perfect, once again. Perfect, perfect. It's well, time the, for a good discussion. Well, yeah, but the whole thing is you can't do something like that, Darren. You can't just have a post-emerge product in soybeans if the weed is Roundup resistant because then you're going to have to go spray twice. And I'm like not, we already I'm not talked. saying that. I'm saying use yeah, but, a pre-emerge and use a post. Yeah, and but if you you've just got said if weeds, I'm going to use it. Yeah, but you just said if I'm going to go after ragweed, I want to do that. I mean, it just as an example. No, I'm, I'm I, saying you're going to do a pre and a post. So what you can do is you can say, you know what, I need to use some first rate and I need to use some pursuit. Well, I can't do that all in one shot because I'm going to end up with five things tank mixed post-emerge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of those pre and I'm going to use one of those yep, post. And there's no way I do that because Absolutely. both That's the pursuit very best program and you could possibly no do. way. Both pursuit and first rate are probably better post on just about every weed. Not quite, but just about every weed. So what I want to try to do is I want to use one, if not two, really good broad spectrum pre-emerge herbicides. We've got broad spectrum pre's. We don't have broad spectrum post products. Well, here's the thing. When we talk about pre-emerge herbicides, really, if you've got weed problems, you need to be using two pre-emerge herbicides. Well, once again, there are a lot of things to talk about with Roundup-resistant weeds, but if you've got Roundup-resistant weeds in soybeans, you have to address that pre and then focus on controlling the weeds when they're very small post. Well, coming up next, we've got our Weed of the Week. Stay tuned.